Hi, this is HC Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy. Now let's um, take a look at the stuff that I got from the uh, the waterfall cave there. So uh, now you want to equip the defense on Cyan because that'll increase his uh, hit percentage beyond 96. So now he can score four hits per round. So that'll be uh, especially good for him. Uh, yeah, Red Wizard's not going to score three hits for quite some time. So don't worry about that. Um, let's see. And now uh, the ribbon. Uh, what I the reason I gave that to the White Wizard is because the ribbon is. I think pretty much the only headgear that the white wizard can equip other than like the cap. Uh, the ribbon also protects you against just about everything really. I mean fire, ice, lightning, uh, most special attacks, instant death attacks, I mean you name it. Uh, most special attacks enemies use, I mean it protects you against just about everything really. And I gave it to my white wizard because well obviously I don't want my main healer to die. So um, he, he gets the highest priority. And uh, eventually I'll want to get one for uh, my other party members, except for the, uh, the fighter, or, or the knight, who um, I'll be getting some other things for him later. So, uh, let's see, this is how your armor should be set up now, and uh, that's how your weapons should be set up. Uh, obviously, sell your excess equipment eventually, but uh, now, uh, yeah, now we got 50,000 gold, so let's, let's go back to the caravan now. Okay, here's another new enemy, Ne Ocho, or something like that, whatever it is. Um, anyways, just like the Ocho you met before, but slightly more powerful. So, just uh, speak to lightning as well, can poison you, so, uh, yeah. And there we go, so I am going to take a moment to uh, heal Tala, and I'll be right back. Okay, continuing on. Almost there. Okay, so uh, now let's uh, head for the caravan. Uh, Lady Anriak said he's west of there, so let's uh, take a look. Oh, gee, this little patch of desert doesn't look too inconspicuous, does it? Well, now normally to get over there, you'd have to park like right over here, and then walk over here, but there's some pretty tough enemies there. Uh, I don't really feel like fighting them today, so uh, let's just land here. Yes, that's right, folks. You can just land on the caravan. It's a bug, I know, but I would, I would just edit out the battles anyway, so deal with it. Uh, let's see what they sell here. Um, better not be like that place where I got that Dodge Caravan. Bad deal! Cars, let's break down! Bring your tray! Bring your title! Bring your wife! We'll fuck her! That's right, we'll fuck your wife! Oh, okay, they sell a bottle here. And how much is it? Uh, 50,000 gold? You're kidding me! If you think you're gonna find a bargain at Big Bill, you can kiss my ass! Well, then I'm gonna go to the caravan on the other side of the desert, asshole. If you find a better deal, shove it up your ugly ass! You heard us right, shove it up your ugly ass! Maybe I can steal it. Don't fuck with us or we'll rip your nuts off! Okay, I'll buy it. Hurry up, asshole! This event ends the minute after you write us a check! And it better not bounce or you're a dead motherfucker! Thanks a lot, jerk. Okay, so uh, now we gotta go to uh, Gaia to uh, release the fairy who will get us the axe sale. Or axe ale, or however you pronounce that damn thing. It's an alcoholic beverage, I don't drink. I don't know how to pronounce those things. Okay, let's just get up here. There we are. Yeah, let's see what you gotta say now. Oh, okay. Well, the fairy's in the bottle, so... Just head over here. Okay, here's the spring. Uh, oh, right, I gotta use the bottle. 
There it is. Pop! And the fairy is here. Yay! Ah, there she is. And now we can get the Axial. Alright. Okay, so an alcoholic beverage will give me air. Great! That makes perfect sense. Alright, well, uh, now I think we're just about ready. Yeah, yeah, let's, uh, head out first. Okay, now, one thing that I would recommend doing, because your red mage has no level 6 spell charges, and your white mage has no level 7 spell charges. You'll get them at level 20. Uh, however, um, I want to uh, get a few spell charges to make the upcoming trip a little easier. I mean, you don't have to, but it's going to be real quick, I, I think. So, uh, let me show you uh, a few places that you can do your level grinding. Uh, I haven't had you do it like since the Marsh Cave, so uh, consider yourself lucky. So, let's check out uh, a few places. Now, you could still use the... Uh, what is it? The, the power peninsula here. The uh, the zambles that you can meet up with here are actually pretty good for experience. So, but uh, there's some other uh, places that I like a little better. Uh, you see, the problem with using the power peninsula now is you have well fixed encounter points, and because they they are fixed encounter points, you'll meet up with the same enemy over and over again. That'll really cut down in your down. Well, it'll really cut down on your downtime between battles because you'll just fight it, go step off, go back on it over and over again. Real fast way of uh, gaining experience and levels. So, um, so yeah, um, it's a castle ordeal here. You also have the fixed encounter point where you can meet up with zombie dragons. Um, I don't like using that one because they are a little tough and they can stun you with your physical attacks. I prefer something a little... Uh, well, safer and easier to get to, because, I mean, you got to sail all the way here, park your airship here, and then walk around. I mean, that's a, quite a bit of a walk, especially if you get in trouble. Now, <clears throat> perhaps the, the best fixed encounter point, as far as the place itself, would be the ice cave. Uh, remember the uh, eye that you fought there? Let's see, where is it? Oh god, I can't find it. Uh, a little sound. Okay, there we are. But yeah, in the ice cave you can fight the eye. It gives you pretty much the most experience for any battle that you can run into. But the problem is that, I mean, it can kill your guys with physical attack, or with spells. Uh, well, now you got the pro rings, but it can also use glance, which can turn your guys to stone. Uh, without ribbons, uh, that's pretty dangerous, so I wouldn't fight him yet. And plus, it's also a pretty long walk to get to the eye there, so I, would, uh, I wouldn't use that one. The place that I would use is actually in the Gurgu Volcano. Um, there's a whole bunch of them, but really you can use any one. Uh, the fixed encounter points where you can meet up with the fire enemy, or fire elemental enemy. Uh, basically, it gives quite a bit of experience, and it's real fast. You just land here, go in, walk just a little bit bit of a distance and find one of the encounter points that I showed you in the walkthrough there. Um, I think that's a really good place to um, do that because fires are a pretty vanilla enemy. You're not going to have any trouble with them. They have decent physical attacks, but they're, they're not going to kill you. And you got the heal staff, so that should be able to keep up with them. And plus you can run into one or two of them at a time. So, I mean, they can almost keep up with the eye in terms of pure experience for gaining levels. So, I would recommend taking the time to uh, grind up to level 22. That'll get you the sp some good spell charges. It'll also push uh, Yang up over uh, 64 hit percentage, which will allow him to deal, uh, I think, six hits per round. So that'll be really helpful. It'll make the next area incredibly easy. So I'd recommend doing that. Rest up at the end at Canaria. Uh, sell your excess equipment. And uh, you'll be ready for the Sea Shrine, which is at uh, Anrak. So I will, <coughs> I will meet you there in the next video. So uh, that's all for this time. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.